Hey guys, Ben here, and welcome back to another video. Today we're going to be doing a video on The Flash Season 5. This is going to be an extra video. I just want to talk about Zoom, because I've been meaning to do this since the 100th episode, but I've just been swept up in crossover videos and different crossover stuff. So, you know, we're finally getting around to talking about the 100th episode again, because I love that episode. It's possibly one of my favorite episodes in years. I love how they ended it and I'm just so intrigued with what's going on next and also the things they left hanging and that's what we're going to talk about in this video in regards to Zoom. So if you do go on to enjoy the video please be sure to leave a like and a comment and subscribe if you're new so you don't miss any DC TV videos later this year. Zoom returned in The Flash's 100th episode recently and we got the return of Teddy Sears. He shot some new scenes for a very brief period of time but also um, Tony Todd returned as the voice of Zoom in a brief little short scene but nevertheless Zoom returned we got some new scenes which was just ecstatic for me because Zoom is my favourite villain and it was just so nostalgic seeing the character actually return on the big screen on the small screen for like the first time since his season actually as Teddy Sears or actually as Zoom. So in the 100th episode a version of Zoom returns to Star Labs after dropping off Caitlyn on Earth 2. So why he returns we don't know but essentially what we're going to chat about in this video is essentially discussing the idea of can Zoom return and you know what's the possibilities so yes Zoom runs off drops Caitlyn off on Earth 2 after he's kidnapped her and then for some reason unbeknownst to us he returns so that's a mystery right now I don't think there is necessarily an answer I don't think they have the answer I think it was just for this purpose of Zoom actually meeting Nora and chasing them but this version of Zoom meets Nora from the future she's a speedster he finds out about this new speedster obviously he wants her speedster powers due to the fact that he's just been juiced up on Barry's speedster powers and now he finds out that this version of Barry still has powers so essentially from this he can infer that Barry this version of Barry is from the future because he's number one got his speed also he's friends with this other speedster that he's never heard of called Nora and so he realizes it and they actually time travel so all points signed to Zoom knows this is not his normal version of Barry in that present day but from the future because he's got his speed and also this would actually cause sort of cracks in the timeline because they would know that Zoom's plan actually fails if Barry's actually still alive and everything is well in the future so I don't know there's a lot of timeline issues but Zoom chases Nora and Barry as they time travel and he gets dragged away by a time wraith just after he grabs the flash and Barry just moves to the side because the time wraith takes Zoom and he takes him out of them as they time travel and so does Zoom die or does Zoom escape and either way is he a time remnant so I have to break this down so in regards to the time remnant why would he randomly make a time remnant I know he does like to do time remnants but it's always of a meaning I don't think this has a meaning I don't think he's like I'm just gonna make a time remnant you know just kidding up Caitlin let's go back check on Star Labs no I think this is his normal version of himself and considering if this version of zoom does survive like how does he forget about all of this does the speed force interfere what does the speed force do to him because the time race is part of the speed force so is it something they do do they wipe his memory or you know reset him and just set him back on the path he was supposed to go on so if he does die by this time Rafe, if he turns into the Black Flash, if that's what they're doing, we never see on screen, but if that's what they're doing, the Black Flash would come early, that would screw with the timeline. If he escapes, he knows about the future, he knows that his plan most likely fails, also there's other species in the future, and Barry does return, so he would be entirely hesitant and his plans would totally change, so that's obviously a gaping hole in the timeline sort of continuity of this 100th episode and you know the flash as a whole but if he escapes from the speed force from the clutches of the time wraith if he does escape he knows about nora and therefore the timeline has changed either way even if he escapes or he dies because in both instances his plans have changed and essentially if he dies that means henry allen survives that means there's a knock-on 
effect from that, therefore Barry doesn't run back in time to save his mum, therefore there's no Flashpoint, and from Flashpoint there's no proper season 3, there's no change in these characters, you know, Dante would be back, Dante would be alive, there wouldn't really be the conflict, it would be different with Savitar because of Flashpoint and, you know, there would be no Kid Flash, there would be, you know, massive changes in the timeline if Zoom actually dies, so we're guessing he doesn't die, but if he escapes, therefore he has the knowledge, the timeline changes again. So I do believe there is obviously a lot to theorize about, like if he can physically return, I think this definitely sets up the idea that he can physically return, and I do believe he will return, and I really do want him to return because he's my favorite villain, as I've said, but obviously there's cracks in the way they've presented him in this crossover and the way they take him out because in both ways, he knows future information that he shouldn't know, and therefore it's massive, so the timeline will change. Even if it's in the slightest way, it's going to affect the future quite heavily. And so I do believe he will return because I don't think Teddy Sears just comes back for one scene. Yes, it's the 100th episode, but I do believe he's probably got some sort of deal. And the fact that they didn't show Zoom die or turn into the Black Flash or literally escape on screen is just open to the fact that this version of Zoom that we saw, whether it's a time remnant or not, like I've mentioned, I don't think it's a time remnant, I don't see why it would be, but this version of Zoom is currently stuck in the Speed Force. That's what we can infer from what we see because the time Wraith takes him off doesn't necessarily suck the life out of him like he does when Zoom turns into the Black Flash because we know for all this time, the time Wraiths have been after Zoom. We find that out in season two and you know at the end they finally get to him and turn him into the black flash but for now i would reckon this version of zoom is a speed force prisoner and i wouldn't be surprised if he actually returns because this definitely opens the possibility up because number one he is aware of the future now number two if he's locked in the speed force he's probably going to want to find this new speedster he wants to get this power but also it's just very intriguing for him as a serial killer but also as Zoom and also as Hunter Zolomon and you know all his different personalities and the fact that he has found out that his foe in the future has survived, he's fine, he's got his powers back, you know he can siphon all this future power so I definitely think this is a way for them to actually get Zoom back and I think the way they presented him was just so amazing but also like I mentioned there is cracks in the plot because Basically, any way you go with it, there is going to be major timeline ramifications in the future. Like I mentioned, like, no Flashpoint, therefore no Kid Flash, no Henry Allen death, therefore no reaction when the man in the Iron Mask is unmasked as Jay Garrick. So, you know, there is some massive moments like that that would be heavily affected. So, it remains to be seen whether he survived or whether he escaped. But what do you think? Let me know down in the comments below. If you love the 100th episode, please leave a like on this video because it really does mean so much to me. And I just have to say I love the 100th episode. It's one of my favorite episodes in years. I think the way they ended it with Reverse Flash and Nora was just amazing. Like, I haven't been so hooked since maybe like season 3 or season 2. It's been a long time. And I thought that way they ended the episode for the mid-season was just absolutely perfect directly spot on and i wouldn't have wanted it any other way i think you know the idea of reverse flash and nora working together is so great but then toppled on that fact is we've got zoom we've got savitar we've got a version of eobard thorn from season one all of them returning in the hundredth episode it just makes for an incredible experience as a fan and so yeah Thank you guys so much for watching this video. Also, before we end this video, I just want to quickly give a quick plug to my film podcast channel. And I do movie podcasts and film podcasts every week there. And we talk about the latest films. This week, we talk about Aquaman. So we do a review. We talk about the latest Marvel Avengers trailer. Also, we talk about Captain Marvel, Spider-Man Into the Spider-Verse. So we got a few cool comic book reviews for you guys this week. So please be sure to check it out. There'll be a link in the description below. It's called Real Movie Talk. And you can go subscribe there. Watch that every week with me and a fellow DC TV YouTuber called Declan McKinney. So anyway, guys, I will see you guys later. Goodbye.
service like Shabri Team.